Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the granny stripes crochet stitch. This is just like your traditional granny cluster stitch, which consists of three double crochets worked into the same stitch. The only difference is this is worked in stripes instead of in rounds. This is a really awesome way to get that granny look and be able to do the traditional striping that you find in a traditional style blanket without having to work in the round. You're going to need to know the single crochet, a chain stitch, and a double crochet. These are US terms and I will have links down in the description below for video tutorials on those. Okay, this is a multiple of three plus two and for my sample today, I have a total of 17 chains, which is 15 plus two. I'm going to start the first row with a single crochet row. You don't have to do this. You could jump right into your granny stitch, but this is a really great way to stabilize this first row. Okay, so that loop on your hook never counts as a stitch. So count down one and two. Now I show you counting down to three, but I really did mean second chain from the hook. So only count down two and place a single crochet in that first chain space. In the next chain space, do another single crochet. And then I want you to work a single crochet in every stitch all the way across until you get to the very last stitch in your starting chain. Okay, so now I'm at my last stitch in my starting chain. So I'm gonna place a single crochet and then I'm going to chain two and turn and now we're gonna move on to row number two and this is where we're going to start our granny stripes. So I have that chain two, that is going to count as a stitch. That is going to be my first a double crochet. And working in the top of that single crochet from the row below, I'm going to do another double crochet. Okay, so now I'm going to work my first a granny cluster, which is three double crochets in the same stitch. So I'm counting over three single crochets. And in that third stitch, I'm gonna put my first double crochet in the same stitch, my second double crochet. And again, in the same stitch, my third double crochet. Now that is my first granny cr cluster of this row. Now I'm gonna count over three single crochets again and place another three double crochets in the same stitch. So there was one, here is number two, and here is number three. And I'm just gonna to continue to repeat that until I have three stitches left in my row. And I'm gonna leave you to that and I will meet you back up when you have three stitches left. All right, I am at the end of my row. I have three stitches left. If you don't, you're gonna to need to go back and make sure that you didn't miss anything or add anything. Now that third stitch can be kind of tricky to see. It has a tendency to wanna to hide out there at the end. Just make sure that you're looking at the top of your Vs and you should be good to go. I'm going to put a, a double crochet in the top of that stitch and I need it to match up to my other end. So I'm going to add a, another double crochet and this should mirror what I have at the beginning of my row. Remember that chain three counted as a double crochet. I'm just adding two double crochets at the end of this row. Now I'm gonna chain two and turn. This is gonna bring me to row number three. This is the second row of our two row repeat. All right, that chain two still counts as a double crochet and those two double crochets below also count as a cluster. And right next to that is a double crochet cluster. So I'm gonna work my first double crochet cluster of this row in between those two. And then I'm gonna immediately move on to working a cluster between those two sets right there. And I'm just gonna continue to do this until I've worked all the way across my row. So it doesn't matter how wide your project is, just continue to work those uh, granny clusters until you get to the very end and you've worked one final set of three granny clusters. And then I'm gonna show you how to finish off this row and I'm also gonna show you how to change color. Okay, so to finish off this row, we're just going to work one double crochet into the top of that chain two from the row below, and this should mirror what we have at the beginning of this row. So I'm going to start my double crochet because I'm also going to be changing color at the same time. I'm gonna start my double crochet, and I'm gonna work it until I have two loops left on my hook. 
Now I'm going to grab my new color and I'm going to drape it across the top of my hook and pull it through those two loops just like I'm finishing the double crochet. Now I want to make sure everything is secure so nothing pulls loose when I chain two and turn. You could carry your yarn up the side depending on what you're doing with your color work or you can cut this off and weave in your ends. I'm just going to leave it because this is just a sample. Again, I'm going to chain two and turn, and I'm just gonna to continue to repeat rows two and three until I get to the length that I want. Now on this row, I need the two double crochets or the chain two and a double crochet to start off this row. I can always tell the difference because on the rows that need the two double crochets or the chain two and the double crochet, it almost looks like I have four stitches bunched together at the beginning of the row the rows that only have the chain two or what would be a double crochet, those look like they're a little bit more spaced out, like you can see the difference between the clusters. And that's just the only way I know how to keep these rows straight. Hopefully you can figure out something that works well for you too. And that's all there is for me today, folks. If you missed anything, feel free to go back and rewatch. I will have a link down in the description below for written instructions for this stitch, as well as links to any patterns in the Ruby Gray shop. Thanks so much for stopping by. Love your face.